The holidays often mean special events and gathering with friends and family, but because of the pandemic, those traditions may look and feel differently this year. So joining us live this morning with ways to cope with this unique holiday season is Northwest University clinical psychologist Dr. Inger Burnett Zeigler. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Okay, so this is all very obvious, but how do people survive this year with trying to be safe in the pandemic and also find a way to celebrate? Sure, so of course this year, the holidays are gonna look like they've never looked before. Feelings of sadness, frustration, um, you know, feeling overwhelmed with how to plan for the upcoming holidays are normal. And one thing people can do for moving out of that, those feelings is really getting creative and thinking about what you can do to celebrate, even if it looks different than it's looked in the past. Um, it, it might be so easy to kind of surrender and just say, you know what, we're, we're just going to do it simply this year. But tell us maybe why it might be helpful to sort of plan something special at home, even if it just involves being in front of your computer screen with long distance family. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> taking the opportunity to plan is still an opportunity to connect with friends and loved ones and have some joy, even in the midst of everything that's so difficult that's been going on in the world this year. And so really leaning into that rather than kind of getting stuck in, in those uncomfortable feelings can give some people an opportunity for, for pleasure and something to look forward to for the rest of the year. What kind of things are you going to be doing with your family, keeping that mental health element in mind and how important it is during the holiday season? Yeah, so, you know, I'm actually planning on uh, cooking my first Thanksgiving meal here at home. I will be connecting with some friends virtually, which is the first time I will have had a virtual holiday celebration. And uh, decorating my home is something that I'm also looking forward to, to kind of get it in the holiday spirit. Uh, anything else you can think of on, on some really important ways for people to just kind of keep their spirits up throughout the, ne the next six weeks or so as we celebrate the holidays very differently? Yeah, you know, I really think taking an opportunity to connect. The holidays is a time where people can really find themselves uh, feeling lonely and disconnected, particularly with the social distancing mandates that have been put in place this year. And so knowing that that connecting might look different, it might be virtual, it might be volunteering, it might be, uh, you know, connecting with friends if your family is living out of town and you're unable to see them or they're have high risk uh, chronic health conditions or the like. And so making sure to find those opportunities to connect rather than uh, isolating and spending that time on your own. So sort of accepting our reality the way it is and just dealing with it, making the best of it, I guess. That's right, that's right. Looking for hope and looking for joy. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us this morning. We wish you a very happy holiday season. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.